Hello everybody and welcome back to Remote Control Monday. Last week we had the John Deere 8345R CQ Control. This week we have something a little more expensive and that is the John Deere 7980R with a front loader and other working features. So yeah, this is the same scale, 1 in 32, and it has a front loader and it also has working headlights and working beacons and even a working three-point linkage. So here is a picture of it on the side of the box, very realistic and very similar to the life-size tractor. So I'm now going to remove it from the box and in the top section we have got a manual which will explain everything about it, safety, how to use it and all the different languages. It's also quite thick, it's a very big document. We then have lots of sheets of paper, all the same, which explain how to use the different models of CQ control which you can get, including this one. And then underneath here we have got the tractor and the controller and also the battery compartment and also a piece of paper which explains what the controls are. So here is the tractor close up inside the box. We will get out in a minute. And in the side here we've got the remote controller. This is red, they used to be grey when I first got my Fent. And you can see all the different buttons on there, indicators, headlights, beacon, and then you've got the programmable ABC which allows you to use multiple tractors with the same controller. On the front there we've got the forwards and backwards and also the linkage control. This piece of paper here which says D and P on it is just explaining the two buttons which have got nothing printed on them. And this is the battery holder for the tractor which requires three AAA batteries, ideally rechargeable. That is what CQ recommend. And this is the tractor, very carefully removing it from the box. And this is it out of the box. And we're going to look at it in detail. It has got working mirrors as well. They do unfold, um, although you've got to be very careful not to snap them off. And here's a close-up of the bucket. The front linkage with the A-frame. And then obviously the wheels and the bottom of the tractor. Here's the front loader, the H480. I'm panning across to the cab as well, rear fenders, very realistic. And the top of the cab, we've got the beacons which do work. And then if we look down from here, we've then got the steps and also the diesel tank in the middle there. Looking at the back of the tractor, you can see there is a hole there for where the batteries go. There is then the on off button and also the port for any of the CQ control implements you wish to use with this tractor. And then below that we have got the three point linkage which is also controlled electronically from the handset. In case you're wondering, this tractor cost £151 from Amazon.co.uk but the prices probably will vary depending on where you buy it from. Time to switch it on and give it a go. The lights will flash and then the controller you turn on and it should recognize it and then it will connect. We've got all working controls here. The front loader with the two scroll wheels. One controls the up and down and one controls the bucket. The button here sets it to one place and then the right button will actually tip the bucket as well to a set place. The front loader does take a bit of getting used to but once you've got the hang of it it's actually very easy. We've then got the headlights, you can press this button three times, one does the bonnet lights, one does the lower bonnet lights and the other one does the one on the top of the cab. We've then got the steering, which is the steering knob on the right, very similar to the other controller we used. And finally, but most importantly to some people, the beacons which do flash on this particular model. And the beacons do have two different modes, so you can choose which sequence you want them to flash in.
Time to have a bit of a play with the front loader. And I've got this silage pit with a bit of silage in. And it's a good opportunity to actually have a bit of a practice with it. It's always more enjoyable when you've actually got something to scoop. Now unfortunately I don't have a 1 in 32 scale tipper trailer. I would have liked to have loaded up a trailer with this. Uh, probably in the future we'll be able to do that, but at the moment I don't have a trailer for that. So it's just a bit of playing around really. So as you saw from that, the front loader actually works really well. And yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy as well. So it is a nice little feature for this tractor to have. So there are more features on this one as well. It also does have working indicators and hazard lights. If we go around the back here, you should see that we also have working indicators and working hazard lights. We'll just turn the lights off to make it a bit easier to see. And there's the hazard lights as well. Or you can have them on independently. Also, we've got the rear lights for the headlights and also the working three-point linkage and hitch. And there is an above view of the beacons working. They're actually really bright. And just a bit more playing in the silage pit, I think, before the end. Starting to get a bit better at it. I've had a bit of practice now. But yes, I'm hoping to do another video in the future of actually loading up a trailer with the silage and then have another radio control tractor on the tipper. So there we have the John Deere 7280R with a front loader from Siku. 1 in 32 and it is actually a very very nice model. The other one which we did didn't really have many features but this one definitely makes up for it. It's got so many different features and the front loader is just it just adds so much more to it so this is a very good model. Anyway we're parking it in its shed until next time when we get the third tractor in here and we'll then in the end we'll have a look at all of them together and uh, do a bit of a finishing off video but that is it for now that is the john deere 7280r from cq control hopefully you've enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one so thanks for watching 
And until next time, bye for now.